Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the video. Bring them in. Well, well, well. It looks like we have a few visitors here. And I am not very happy about this. Let them go. I'll deal with them myself. <laughs> How predictable. There's a lot of things, really, I could really talk about. You know, you infiltrating my kingdom, trying to destroy my army behind my back, and then you tried to get to me to get my star. How much of a buffoon do you really think I am? You have no idea who you're messing with. Because I... The King of the Koopas am not one to mess with. This is my kingdom. And I rule over with it with an iron fist. Well, an iron claw, to put it more into simpler terms. But that doesn't matter. What does matter is you trying to steal and ruin my plans. <laughs> you really think that's going to stop me? Your words, your puny little words of encouragement to your other fellow people. Well, I got one word for that. No. <laughs> you really think that you're gonna stop me from getting this kingdom and taking Princess Peach for myself? You have another thing coming. I am the big bad dragon Cooper you have ever seen in your life. I eat people like you for brunch. That fool Godzilla, I ate him up. Ate him with a little bit of tartar and caviar. What my point is, I'm the biggest, baddest, most evilest Koopa dragon you will ever see in your life. And I might be just the last one you see if you try to stop me. You have an army. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Your army's pathetic when it comes to mine. I have hundreds, no, even thousands of Koopas, Goombas, all sorts of creatures on my side. I have so many bullet bills they could fill up a whole kingdom and make it nothing but dust. Oh, but that's where you're wrong. You see, I have plenty of plans for the princess. Oh yeah, I have plenty of plans for her. Well, of course, I have a musical number written just for her because, well, she deserves someone more than a pesky, red, mustache, short-spouted plumber. And to prove it, I will sing a song, because this one is for my love, Peach. Peach, you're so cool. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I guess I'm, my singing voice isn't ready yet. 
But I will be releasing that song all towards out the Mushroom Kingdom and whatnot, and everyone in there will see my musical genius when it comes to my love for the princess. Hmm. Well, besides taking over this kingdom and making it my own, I want all sorts of power. Because, you see, there's a lot of power blocks in the Mushroom Kingdom. Lots of them hiding secrets. Like mushrooms, mini mushrooms, tanukis, cat suits, all sorts of power-ups, and especially those fire flowers. Those fire flowers pack enough punch to even deal with the likes of my army. And the Mushroom Kingdom has quite a lot of those. To deal with that, I want their kingdom because those fire flowers will be perfect for my army, upgrading them to their peak potential. <laughs> Well, that's none of your business. I have my star locked up safely in a safe place where you'll never find it. Ever. Mm-mm. You will never find it. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. I'm not playing these silly games with you. You're not finding my star. <laughs> you really think Mario's gonna stop me? Why don't you take a little look to your left over there? I have his brother locked up in a cage. Cause he's the one who fell into my domain. He had a little bit of a scuffle with the dry bones and I saved him quote-unquote, and then I threw him into my dungeon and then into that cage. Well, isn't it obvious? I would like to see my trophies before they get stuffed and beheaded and hanged over my mantle. <laughs> oh, boo-hoo. Your friend is going to be a mantelpiece above my fireplace. Boo-hoo. Where? Where? Cry me a river. You're not going to get your friends back. You're not going to destroy my army. And you are most definitely not going to save your kingdom. And Princess Peach will be mine. Because at the end of the day, I'm the one with the power here. And you are nothing but a peeny, eeny, weeny, insignificant creature compared to me. <laughs> you have a Donkey Kong, that ape. You really think he's gonna try to stop me? He's so ignorant and also of his own ego that he barely fights in his own tournaments that his father puts up for him. If you can get him on your team, I'll be most surprised. <laughs> well then, I'll be waiting for said day, and I'll be waiting for that fight that you oh so promised me, and you better make sure that Mario is perfect for this, because if he's not, I'll tear him limb from limb, burn him to a crisp, and then devour him. Hmm. <laughs> 
You have three days to set up an army so we can have a great battle. And if I'm victorious, I get all that I said. But if you're victorious, as if that's going to happen, well, we'll just see what happens. <laughs> Guards, put this one in the dungeon. I wait for the plumbers. 